हेलो लिसनर्स दिस इज द सेवेंटीन कॉन्टिन्यूइंग वीडियो ऑफ महाभारत ऑडियो सीरीज दिस चैप्टर विल बी रिगार्डिंग चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंटीन इंद्रप्रस्थ सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द चैप्टर वेन न्यूज ऑफ द इंसिडेंट्स दैट टूक प्लेस ड्यूरिंग द स्वयं वर एट पांचाल रीच टू हस्तिनापुर विदुर वॉज हैप्पी ही इमिडिएटली वेन टू धृतराष्ट्र एंड सेट ओ किंग Our family has become stronger because the daughter of Drupad has become our daughter-in-law. Our stars are good. Dhritarashtra thought in this blind fondness for his son that it was Duryodhan, who had also gone to take part in the swamvar, that had won Draupadi. Under this mistaken impression, he replied, "It is indeed, as you say, a good time for us." Go at once and bring Draupadi. Let us give Panchali a joyous welcome. Vidur hastened to correct the mistake. He said, "The blessed Pandavas are alive, and it is Arjun who has won the daughter of Drupad. The five Pandavas have married her jointly, according to the rites enjoined by the Shastras. With their mother Kunti Devi, they are happy." and well under the care of drupad at these words of vidur dhritarash felt frustrated but concealed his disappointment he said to vidur with apparent joy o oh, vidur i am delighted at your words are the dear pandavas really alive we have been mourning them as dead the news you have now brought is balm to my heart so the daughter of drupad has become our daughter in law well well very good duryodhan's jealousy and hatred redoubled when he found that the pandavas had somehow escaped from the wax palace and after spending a year ignicio had now become even more powerful on account of the alliance with the mighty king of panchal duryodhan and his brother dushashan went to their uncle shakuni and said in sorrow uncle we are undone we have been let down by relying on poruchan our enemies the pandavas are clever than ourselves and fortune also seems to favor them drishtadum and shikhandin have become their allies what can we do karn and duryodhan went to the blind dhritarashtra duryodhan said you told vidur that better days were ahead of us is it good time for us that our natural enemies the pandavas have so waxed in strength that they will certainly destroy us we could not carry out our plot against them and the fact that they know about it as an added danger it has now come to this either we must destroy them here or now or we shall ourselves perish favor us with your counsel in this matter dhritarashtra replied dear son what you say is true we should not however let vidur know our mind that was why i spoke to him in that manner let me now hear your suggestions as to what we should do Duryodhan said I feel so distracted that no plan occurs to me perhaps we may take advantage of the fact that these pandavas are not born of one and the same mother can create enmity between the sons of madri and those of kunti we can also try to bribe drupad into joining our side that he has given away his daughter in marriage to the pandavas will not stand in the way of our making him an ally there is nothing that cannot be accomplished by the power of wealth kurn smiled and said this is but futile talk durudhan continued we should somehow make sure that the pandavas do not come here and demand of us the kingdom that is now in our possession We may commission a few brahmans to spread unconvenient rumors in Draupad's city and severely tell the Pandavas 
that they would meet with great danger if they were to go to Hastinapur. Then the Pandavas would fear to come here, and we will shall be safe from them. Kern replied, "This too is idle talk. You cannot frighten them that way." Duryodhan continued, "Can we not create discord among the Pandavas by means of Draupadi?" Her polyandrous marriage is very convenient for us. We shall arouse doubts and jealousies in their minds through the efforts of experts in the science of erotics. We shall certainly succeed. We can get a beautiful woman to beguile some of the sons of Kunti and thus makes Draupadi turn against them. If Draupadi begins to suspect any of them, we can invite him to Hastinapur and use him so that our plan prospers. Kern laughed this also to scorn. He said, "Ha ha! None of your proposals is any good. You cannot conquer the Pandavas by strategies. When they were here, and were like callow birds with undeveloped wings, we found we could not deceive them. And you think we can deceive them now, when they have acquired experience and are moreover under the protection of Drupad?" They have seen through your designs. Stratagems will not do hereafter. You cannot sow decisions among them. You cannot bribe the wise and honourable Drupad. He will not give up the Pandavas on any account. Draupadi can also never be turned against them. Therefore, there is only one way left for us, and that is to attack them before they grow stronger. and other friends join them we should make a surprise attack on the pandavas and dropit before krishna joins them with his yadav army we should take the heroic way out of our difficulty as befits kshatriyas trickery will prove useless thus spoke karna dhritarashtra could not make up his mind the king therefore sent for bhishma and drone and consulted him bhishma was very happy when he heard that the pandavas were alive and well as guest of king drupad of panchal whose daughter they had married consulted on the steps to be taken bhishma wise with the ripe knowledge of right and wrong replied the proper course will be to welcome them back and give them half the kingdom the citizens of the state also desire such a settlement this is the only way to maintain the dignity of our family there is much loose talk not creditable to you about the fire incident at the wax house all blame even all suspicion will be set at rest if you invite all the pandavas and hand over half kingdom to them this is my advice drona also gave the same counsel and suggested sending a proper messenger to bring about an amicable settlement and establish peace karn flew into rage at this suggestion he was very much devoted to duryodhan and could not at all bear the idea of giving a portion of the kingdom to pandavas he told dhritarashtra I am surprised that Drone who has received wealth and honors at your hands has made such a suggestion. A king should examine critically the advice of his ministers before accepting or rejecting it. At these words of Karn, Drone his old eyes full of anger said, "Oh wicked man, you are advising the king to go on the wrong path? If Dhritarashtra does not do what bhishma and myself had advised the korvas will certainly meet with the destruction in the near future then dhritarashtra sought the advice of vidur who replied the counsel given by bhishma the head of our race and drona the master is wise and just and should not be disregarded the pandavas are also our children like duryodhan and his brothers You should realize that those who advise you to injure the Pandavas 
are really bent upon the destruction of the race. Drupad and his sons, as well as Krishna and the Yadavs, are staunch allies of the Pandavas. It is impossible to defeat them in battle. Karna's advice is foolish and wrong. It is bruited abroad that we tried to kill the Pandavas in the wax house. and we should first of all try to clear ourselves of the blame the citizens and the whole country are delighted to know that the pandavas are alive and they desire to see them once again do not listen to the words of duryodhan karn and shakuni are but raw youths ignorant of statesmanship and incompetent to advise follow bhishma's advice In the end Dhritarashtra determined to establish peace by giving half the kingdom to the sons of Pandu. He sent Vidur to the kingdom of Panchal to fetch the Pandavas and Draupadi. Vidur went to the city of King Draupad in the speedy vehicle taking along with him many kinds of jewels and other valuable presents. Vidur rendered due honor to King Draupad and requested him on behalf of dhritarashtra to send the pandavas with panchali to hastinapur drupad mistrusted dhritarashtra but he merely said the pandavas may do as they like vidur went to kunti devi and prostrated himself before her she said son of vichitravirya you saved my sons they are therefore your children i trust you I shall do as you advise. She was also suspicious of Dhritarashtra intentions. Vidur thus assured her, "Your children will never meet with destruction. They will inherit the kingdom and acquire great renown. Come, let's go." At last, Drupad also gave his assent, and Vidur returned to Hastinapur with the Pandavas, Kunti, and Draupadi. In jubilant welcome of the beloved princes who were returning home after long years of exile and travel the streets of Hastinapur had been sprinkled with water and decorated with flowers and as had been already decided half the kingdom was made over to the Pandavas and Yudhishthir was duly crowned king Dhritarashtra blessed the newly crowned yudhishthir and bade him farewell with these words my brother pandu made this kingdom prosperous may you prove a worthy heir to his renown king pandu delighted in abiding by my advice love me in the same manner my sons are wicked and proud i have made this settlement so that there may be no strife or hatred between you go to khandavprast and make it your capital our ancestors pururavs nahusha and yayati ruled the kingdom from there that was our ancient capital reestablish that and be famous in this manner dhritarashtra spoke affectionately to yudhishthir the pandavas renovated that ruined city built palaces and forts and renamed it indraprast and it grew in the wealth and beauty and became the admiration of the world the pandavas ruled there happily for 36 years with their mother and draupadi never straying from the path of dharma chapter 17 finishes here Keep listening Mahabharat in the next video series.